I started recording when you told her to go lay down. And just put the other ones in the garage, too. Perfect timing. She knew. She's strategic because she's mm -hmm. a smart dog. Um, welcome to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. The podcast that has a boring intro for boring people. Hashtag boring AF. The most boring podcast on YouTube. Trademark. Registered. What's the other one? Copyright. Mm -hmm. All of the above. We've already been to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. All our, Jesus Christ, dog. All our $750 to make sure that the scammers can still sell what we're talking about on Amazon anyways because Amazon doesn't care. Okay. That's who we are. That's a big problem, by the way, if you didn't know that. No, I did not know that. Everything on Amazon's a knockoff. It's kind of the, it's exactly what Tansy talked about with the wine. As soon as it hits the grocery Everything store. on Amazon is a knockoff? Okay. That's hyperbole, but you can basically view it as that. So yeah, as Tansy said, um, when he was here on Thursday, that essentially once a good wine product hits the shelves of a grocery store, it's no longer the good product that would necessarily be as valuable or consumable, but as he said, there's a time and a place for every wine. So the version that you get off the grocery store shelf is okay. You, and one thing actually that I can say about that conversation, and I, I kind of had vaguely noticed this, but of course, when I'm at the grocery store buying wine for you or for us, it's never expensive wine. It's always something relatively inexpensive unless I specifically know that you want this bottle. There's nothing that I'm going out of my way to spend thirty dollars on you're making me sound like a wino no, no no i and if that episode ever comes out they'll know that we're not what i'm saying is like just like your kombucha or any other thing that you consume i know the brand that you want i know the flavor that you want there's very specific criteria you know the kind of wine that you like for the most part but from a grocery store and we learned that 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 was a difference on thursday so I've noticed that there's never anything older than two or three years old at Harris Teeter. I've noticed that as well. But as I was saying, I've also never gone out of my way to look and see if there's anything older than that. So there might be. I mean, would you go to Harris Teeter for a vintage 1959 blah, 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 no. But remember the comment that he made about the one bottle that he was like, oh, this should not be this cheap. And that's when he explained to us the labels. For anybody that doesn't know, he's a... Uh, uh, oh, God, he explained it to us, and it still went over it. He's, got he's a Salmo... Salmo right, but then there was something else. He's, the only thing he's not is master of wine. I think that's... He said there's only like 200 people in the world or whatever. Okay. But he's every everything else prior to master of wine. So there's tons of information about the labels. Hopefully this episode, the episode that we're talking about, We'll release. We've got to look it over. It's very long. It's like almost four hours long. So it'll probably be chunked up. It might only ever make it to Patreon or, or something. I don't know yet. I haven't actually seen the video yet. So the video could look like trash. We did some more experimental stuff in that episode stuff. And it shut off towards the end. The too. video did. The audio recorded all the way through because we were using a deck. But, um, but in the same way that the product that's in the grocery store isn't the same product as what you would go and get directly from the winery is for a lot of things, not all things, how Amazon operates. And in general, a lot of consumer items in the, in the U S when you buy, when you specifically go out of your way to buy a knockoff brand, like what was it? Uh, Lululemon that you have the leggings. Lululemon. There, whatever. So when you buy those items, they were probably actually made in the same factory, but it either didn't make QA or they had extra items in the main, the, not the manufacturer because they are the manufacturer, but the brand was like, oh, we only want 100 and you made 200. Throw the rest of the way. And they're like, 
hmm, let me just peel the tag off, slap my own tag on there. That's why all these brands on Amazon have random gibberish fake names. Because they're literally searching the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for records for a name. If I, t if I just mash my keyboard like a baby, the likelihood that that name does not exist yet is pretty high. So now I have a high quality product because I'm the manufacturer for the big name and I have a name that's not copyrighted or trademarked and I can undercut the brand with the same product. So you might have the exact same thing, but for a lower price from a Chinese manufacturer or from a Chinese seller, not they are the manufacturer. So we've had this conversation like three years ago when I was telling you about hair products mm -hmm. and how hair products sold in the salon and salon specific um, distribution I remember this. Areas. I remember. Uh, where you have to have like a, a license. Was your, it's called Redkin or Redkin or something yes. like that? Yeah. So hair products sold in like Harris Teeter, Lowe's Foods, whatever, are not what they say they are on the label. And like when, Redkin, Biolage. Well, the, the label is correct. Right, right. It's but just the, what's inside of it is not. No, 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 no. Okay. We're saying a similar kind of thing. So let me explain what I'm saying. If I'm looking at the back of this beer can, right? Well, this isn't a good, so right here where it's like the ingredients list. Okay. It's the same can. It appears to be the same product. It might even taste exactly the same, but the components that go into it are not necessarily the same. And that was the big problem that you had. You said that the salon said that the product that you buy at Walmart is inferior to theirs because they have X, Y, and Z, whereas the salon's like, oh, we only use Coconut oil. I'm, I knew you were going to look at me if I just said something, so I just said something. When no, I'm saying that the product that's inside of it is not made by... I think it's counterfeit. That is what I told you, and that is what I have been told by multiple salon owners. There's not a bone in your body that thinks that's a sales tactic to me? I sent you an article backing up exactly what I stated... Well, I don't remember at this point. It's been like three years since we've had this argument. But do you, do you think that it was a reputable source or was it somebody, another? Yeah, it was somebody deep diving into the situation because it is a situation. It's people charging the same amount of doll hairs in Harris Teeter as they would in any other distribution area. And it's not the same product. And so you're not achieving the same results. I had seen, damn it, I put the thing back. Oh, well, they can't see your boobs again. That's a good thing. I had seen something on YouTube, I believe, where they were doing product testing. It wasn't about hair products, but it was something else. And I feel like we might be able to be on the early end of the trend where somebody might lab test all this stuff maybe maybe somebody watching this will send a... i was first informed about this in like 2006 when i started buying salon grade products and i'm sure it had been going on already for several years i just didn't know about it before that because i was just buying you know the cheap shit let's come back to this in a second okay let's shout out our friends, Jake and Carissa, and their friends for contributing money to the podcast. Thank you, guys. It was amazing. As as I said, he made it sound like it was a small number. And I was like, no, dude, we're not famous. This is probably the easiest money anybody's ever going to contribute to us. Nobody knows who we are yet. That's not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying, like, we're super appreciative and... I don't feel like anybody should ever be like, oh, it's it's not enough. I'm sorry. It's not much. No, dude, like every every dollar is huge contribution. And your friends as well that don't even know who we are. I have not seen Jake in 14 years. So for him to contribute was awesome. Good friends. You have some great friends. I do. Can I deny that? We're working on making some new friends because we need more friends. You want to be our friends. Let us know. 
Let us know why you would hang out with boring people. The number one boring podcast on YouTube. And we're probably the number one boring podcast on Spotify. I thought we were trending on Apple. Yeah. And Spotify. So we're only moderately boring on Apple. Hey, but marketing, right? We're the number one boring podcast. We're so boring that only one person wanted to tell us. It's a huge contribution. Did you subscribe to his channel? No. He only has one subscriber, but I should. I yeah, should. you should. I have like 10 channels that I can subscribe to him with. That's a I, good idea. I thought like, for sure you were going to subscribe. I'm going to. And I'm going to be like, he's wrong, she's right, sent us on his one video. Yeah. Four years ago. Do it. I'm going to. Did you watch the video? No. Why not? Because it doesn't have a good thumbnail. All right. So since you a, since you haven't I'm watched such a it, basic bi- and I obviously haven't either, and all of this is secondhand information to me, my guess is his video is something to the effect of. It looked like a tech, like a teardown of like a laptop or something. Oh, that's not what I was guessing. But it would be funny to send him a bunch of subscribers. When I. I will tag him, but you guys can find him. He's in one of our comments. We have a back and forth from last week. You can find him. The, the first, I think the only word that he said in the original comment was boring. Is that what I showed you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Boring. So. Well, because the previous commenters were, well, you're such a fucking feminist or something to that effect. Well, I was guessing, I was guessing he was of the misogynistic variety and his video was going to be like, if you're looking to create the perfect wife or find a good girlfriend who's subservient to you. Subscribe to my blow up doll. Yes. Uh, That's what I was <laughs> picturing his genre would be with his one whole video because he realized soon thereafter that he could not actually achieve that. Let me close to you because I love you. Mm. Do you know? Yeah, being close to you makes me horny. I'm actually genuinely surprised that there's anything that I can say this long in our, in our relationship and still get those kind of reactions from you. On the podcast, in public, while we're watching a movie by ourselves. Whatever. I can I can get that reaction out of my beautiful wife at all times. See, he's pandering at this point, guys. I'm not pandering. Yes, you oh, we, are. We had our sex for the one week yesterday, so I know that I'm not getting it again until next week. Well, if you had a bigger PP, then maybe it would be more than once a week. Oh, oh, sad, sad PP noises. The sad PP. We need wah, a sound wah, effect wah, for that. I need a, sound, I need a sound effect for that. What would that even sound like? No, that sounds like it's going limp. Yes, that's exactly what a need, small we, little PP sounds like. No, no, I know what it is. Remember, I showed you the video of the midget jumping off the boat into the water, and it was the normal sound until it hit the water. It was like, there you go. Yeah. His tiny little pee-pee makes a little bloop sound. That's yeah. exactly what it sounds like when it goes in. Yeah. And then I give him like a little round of applause. Ooh, I think I felt it. No, I didn't. Aww. I didn't feel anything. Oh, We needed an awe sound effect, too. That'd be good. Oh. Wait, do it again. Let me be complete. All on. Yeah. Aww. Okay, there we go. That's going to be the sound bite. I'm going to pull it out. That's what she said. That's what she said. And then I'm going to turn that into the sound bite. So between the little bloop yep. and the aww. Yep. And it could even be back to back. It could be a double whammy. That's double whammy because yep. you have a tiny little pee pee. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> on that note, I was asking you the other day what your weird flex is yeah so we as the audience want to know what is your weird flex i can flex my pee pee yeah can we see it i can't stand up no all they're gonna see is my <laughs> belly i can't even see my dick when i stand up what are you talking about whatever if you stand up you could be like no you remember fat bastard from uh austin powers we have to rewatch baby it. the other other what me I don't remember that. I just remember him saying, get in my belly. And then talking about how he couldn't even see his own dick underneath his belly. But Oh. I can only imagine how tiny that little pee-pee is. 
I mean, Michael Myers is not a very big guy, and he played Fat Bastard. So. Uh, oh, I just uh, already assume that all redhead men have <laughs> tiny little penises, and their balls are bigger than what they can hold inside. So they, already, if you have a redhead... They have to put the scrope inside their wife as part of it? Oh, it's probably like a turkey baster. Explain. There's no actual procreation happening from natural... No, oh, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about putting it in. You were talking about right. To... They probably can't even put so, it in. So he jerks it's, off in the it's turkey so basin. it's so tiny. He jerks off in the turkey basin and puts it in. Yes, yes, yes. So tiny. Yeah, do spurts. That way it feels natural. No. Yeah. Nobody has time for that bullshit. The, that bull, bull bullshit. Bullshit. Somebody's had a couple of kombuchas. Which one are you drinking? The eight percent or the six percent? Eight percent. She likes the eight, not the six. She says that no. is correct. She says no to six. That is correct. Absolutely the fuck not. Yeah. Six is way too small. We're already almost 20 minutes into this and we haven't talked about anything. So. Okay. Visit nonaphelps.com. If you want to see my weird flex. Yeah, it's actually the camera's in a bad position because. That's a good thing. I wasn't uh, actually trying. You, it was because you were like grabbing them. So I just went ahead and just, Ooh, you know. I think it looks amazing though. Sorry. If you donate. And I donate. If you contribute five thousand dollars, then you can see them. No, not even them. They just get the boot flex with a shirt on. That's what I was getting at. I didn't oh, mean. Yeah. Oh my god! Ew! No, I wasn't meaning anything more than that. Fifty grand, and you can have. You can see it in a bikini. So now you're trying to no, sell no. me no. bikini, bikini, but it's gonna be like from here up. So just like. Yeah, you'll say thank you for your contribution. That's it. There's no tear above that. My eyes only. Yes, his eyes only. My spank bank only. How often do you spank the bank? You don't spank <laughs> the bank, you make withdrawals. Just loved your reaction. You, you make withdrawals or deposits. You don't spank the bank. Deposits? Is that what you make in me? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly what you say when you're leaving the bathroom. That I made a deposit. Deposit. <laughs> I've never said that. That's disgusting. No. Oh, oh, you dropped the kids off at the pool. Oh God, no. Yeah. No, I feel so disgusting now. You know what? We should start calling our guests, even if they're not rich. We should just start calling them all trust fund babies. I thought you were going to say deposits. Here's our next financial deposit. <laughs> Cha-ching. Thank you, more famous person than us coming onto our show and attracting guests for us. Cha-ching. I mean, that's the whole game. Trust fund babies. I'm saying, I'm saying, the, quiet, I'm saying the quiet part out loud. I am going to treat them like fucking shit just for that name. Yes. That's rude. <laughs> I would never be rude to a guest. <laughs> I would Trust never, fun, baby. I would never be rude to a guest. You know what would be really funny? What? I should have a boob cam. I should set up another camera right here. So when you're laughing, people just see Jake. Oh, my God. Somebody's, somebody's going to be like, yes, please do that right now. The one whole subscriber that you have? One. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Our watch time is doing good. That you're apparently here because of my boobs only? Probably. Yeah, there is somebody right now that probably with some sort of AI technology is muting me and only listening to you. They have dubbed. I don't have anything to say, though. No, they've dubbed over your voice because they have enough clips. And you're just saying, I love you so much. You just, oh. you just screwed yourself right there. Yep. Oh. It's already, it's already you're out there. <laughs> you're my favorite. It's already out there. You're my favorite subscriber. Subscriber. You did this to yourself. <laughs> Phelps.com for more. You, fuck you. <laughs> LeeMaxMedia.com, the America's Technology Center of Excellence. Known as Phelps.com, America's Boob Center of Excellence. Check it out. What's the worst that could happen? Your wife catches you. Sorry about your luck. I'm talking about when the guy visits your website thinking he's going to actually find porn. Don't look at me like that. There's not porn. You know that. I hope there's not. <laughs>
I don't know, the way that you were presenting me to the bartender earlier. I was never presenting you. Whatever. You're you about... definitely were giving okay. the impression yeah. Yeah. Okay. that let's, let's you you back. you yeah, said back. you said I do anything for the right price. I said pie is bitter. Whatever, same difference. So he definitely was under the impression that I was some I list- like webcam girl and you were the producer. <laughs> I listed off everything else first. I said web development, IT. Right. Marketing. And then ended with, and we need to get back to work. Well, we told them we were working before. And you showed up wearing your beautiful dress. Yes, I'm wearing a dress. And I showed Am up. I wearing lingerie? No. Yeah, but you look like you were actually working and I look like I was your pimp. You like you like to dress pretty and I don't like to sweat. I'm cold. Is that what you want? Do you want me to cover up? Our viewers will probably drop off if we do that. Okay. So then Yeah, probably can't do that. Uh veteranwiki.org. Okay. We shout out Jake. We should keep shouting out Lori. Well, since we're doing this out of order, she doesn't even know that. We shot it out in the other episodes. We have a fuck cancer episode coming out that we already recorded. Fuck cancer. We 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 do things and then retroactively we're like, oh, we should have done this. Shit. Go record that real quick. So it is Sunday, 5 30 p.m. And this episode will probably be released in 12 hours after I do a bunch of work to it. Hopefully the audio will be better too than the other two episodes. But so Somebody eventually is going to start our series from the first episode. And they're going to be like, this isn't that bad. But you didn't hear what I heard when I started editing it. I know that we don't have the right tools. So I do it all in software because I do have the software. The next, the next upgrade is the hardware. Look at these microphones. Look at this. Look at this. This is a cheap Amazon Microphone. Anybody heard of the brand Fafine? Don't break it. I didn't. Yeah. This, there's the. Yeah, it's just they're probably hearing that. Yeah, exactly what you sound like. When, how? When? 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 What? Farting? Do I make that? When you're coming. <laughs> oh. Well, I got her again. So much effort not to spit out my drink. Got her again. Do you want me to fake it for you? Would that make you feel better? No. That's boring. That makes me know what I already know. That you don't fulfill me? Yeah. Ice queen. Sound bite. And I'm out of drink now. Oh, I'll go get you another drink. I'll put the camera on you. So let's talk about some of our... Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Is that what you want to talk about first? About... That's what you pulled up. Well, that's the tad that when you and I were discussing this, that's the first one. So let me go ahead. Let me transition to Nona Cam. Yeah. Nona Cam. Transition. There you go. Get your drink. What am I talking about, Andrew? Okay, so I didn't even know that he was endorsing Biden uh, in the last election. So this is news to me. I did know about him being hypothetically canceled for shitting on girls. Which is what we opened this episode to. Nobody will ever see because I hope you deleted that. Use the soundbite from that? No, it's okay. That was pretty funny. I'm just talking about that soundbite from the beginning. Because I can put that at the beginning of this episode, people will be like, people watching, people watch the entire episode, and they'll be like, "That's not in here." I just realized my chair is completely sideways, and I've been like sitting sideways. There you go. But then, oops. There you go. Hey, you're closer to me. It's like you love me. Uh. Look, we have rings. Do we? Where's yours? Aww. You didn't even want to show you guys. You pulled me in the wrong direction, actually. You just moved the whole set. So, yeah, he's sad that he endorsed Biden. Yeah, I I didn't even know that he... And, him off. Yeah, I didn't know that he endorsed him to begin with. I'm such... All right, I'm next. such a terrible... Next. Actor. Next. It tears me up. Next. Dollar Tree, increasing their prices. Increasing their price cap. Yeah, to $7. Do you go to Dollar Tree? I went there with Chloe. That's where we got that flashlight in the dock bags for $1.25. Right. So, so it used to be a dollar for everything in there, and then Still during dollar stores, right? No, not all dollar stores. 
Dollar Tree specifically. And then it went up to a dollar twenty five during COVID. And they added the extra five dollar items that are now going up to seven dollars if I'm like piecing this together. Obviously, Dollar Store or Dollar Tree is not like our normal place to go. So do you think there will be a point in time in our lifetime where so so far, you know, we've essentially eliminated the penny. That happened a while ago. They won't even give you change if it includes pennies anymore. Oh, really? There were there. I don't know if that's still true, but I know at one point they were trying to do that. I thought this was specifically during COVID. No, no, this has been going on for a while. Like they would round up or round down, or you I, could donate the difference. Some I get we're trying all to be. of my change. How often? When's the last time you paid with cash, though? Like a week ago. Where? At the bagel shop. So it's a small mom and pop shop, not a place strategically trying to remove. Yes, small mom and pop yeah. shop. So there have been signs at various different places. And even that's that's part of the reason why half of these self-checkout lines are card only. because. But then all the cards have a 2.99% processing fee within the... End. Right, right. So it's like they don't want card, but, but they, they also don't want cash, but, but they also don't want. But they don't what what it is. One one of the major points, like one of the, they have to pay people their time to count the drawers, and they have, you know, the security brinks and stuff like that have to come in. Right. And so eliminating all of that is cheaper than just eliminating cash. The downside is it's easier for the IRS to track what they owe. That's why a lot of mom and pop businesses are like, they'll give you a cash discount mm -hmm. because yeah. not only can they pretend that that never happened, they can also pretend like they're operating at a loss. Oh, we only made 40 grand and our operating cost was 50 grand. Then they can, on their taxes. I honestly never thought about operating as a loss. I yeah. genuinely thought it was just to avoid the 2.99% processing fee for a credit card. Because you can do, you know, ACH transfers. There's all there's all kinds of things. The 2.9, 2.99, whatever, depending on who you're going with, is in some ways kind of reasonable because you're not paying an employee to count drawers. You have almost zero potential losses because you don't have somebody accidentally doing something. There's also no ability for somebody to just steal the cash drawer from you because you're not getting that back. Right. Even if you catch the criminal, you're probably not getting that back and you're spending money on lawyers. So there's all of these other things. And once again, what does that boil down to? Money. Yes. But also, as I said in an episode that's going to air out of order from this, making things convenient means removing freedoms. So they've made it more convenient, but now they can tax you higher and they know that. It's, and a lot of it's not even necessarily malicious. I'm not even saying that everybody's going out of their way to do it. Everybody's trying to make more money, but it all comes back to the same thing. That's, you know, when wire transfers first came about, imagine if we were still living in the, in the wild, wild west. We could do everything with gold and silver, we could trade land ourselves. We don't have to pay the government for anything. When the government stepped in, they were like, hey, we can make this easier. Put in the bank. What's the first thing you would do if you lived in the wild, wild west? Kill all pedophiles. And then? Sleep well. Okay. Have sex with you. I love how that was the third thing on your list. That was actually number one, but. No, it was the third thing on your list. The first thing I would do is I would dick down my wife. And then it would he go. says now, after <laughs> I pointed out that it was the third thing on his list. I thought you were asking us very specific thing. So I fucked up. I'm just gonna yes, start, you did fuck I'm up. I'm going to start answering specifically with situation. doesn't matter. So what was the first thing you do when you land on Mars? Dick down my wife. That is the correct answer. What's the, but what if you're not there? Well. Because you said you're not going. That is correct. I'm not counting. <laughs> so you would fly back. To Earth and dig down your wife. Okay. Okay. Are you going to wait that four-year round trip? Yeah. Okay. Hey, honey. And the, the message delay is like 12 minutes. Oh, is there shrinkage, though? Probably. 
hopefully it's enlarging. I don't think so. Okay, well, that's skeletal unfortunate. Si ke skeletal system, yes, but because of the lack of gravity, there's nothing to I don't know, let's down. find out. It's already small. Well, let's hope that it gets bigger. Well, what if it doesn't? There she goes. I guess that'll be the first time I fake it in my entire life. Whatever. Whatever? Yeah, you faked it. When? You don't want to admit it. What woman, other than to her friends, I'm not saying with me, I'm saying what woman with, other than with her friends, or in I have fight. never faked it in my entire life, okay. and I will tell you to your fucking face that you didn't satisfy me. But what woman has ever actually, like, faked it? And it messed up my entire question. Well, you're lumping me in with other women, and I'm not like other women. We were watching, or you were watching, I was standing in the kitchen while you were watching your housewife show, and they were talking about faking it with their husbands or whatever. I hear all kinds of stuff. I'm in here with my headphones in the office working on something, and I'll still hear your psychotic weirdos, real housewives I, of Belarus, talking about how they faked it with their prince husband because he was going to give her $3 million to buy a yacht for her boyfriend. Yeah, I don't remember that. Anyways, yeah. Anyways. Anyways, let's get back to the topics. Okay. What were we just talking about? I hear the dollars too. Quit looking at me. We're talking about dollar store stuff and we got talking about sex okay, stuff. Okay, so and... the solar eclipse. Yeah, that's one thing. Yeah. Let's talk about People the solar People freaking eclipse. out. The conspiracy theorists. Mm hmm Go for it. School's closing. Why is school closing? Well, our kids' school's not even open. Because of spring break. Right. And probably others are as well. Mm -hmm. But the conspiracy theorists want to say it's because of the solar eclipse. And then the conspiracy... Purely coincidental. And then the conspiracy theorists want to say that the Large Hadron Collider, which operates several times throughout the year, and nothing has ever happened, and it's in CERN, Switzerland, they want to say that that has something to do with the eclipse. And then there are people that say... Oh, eclipses never happen, or they're so infrequent. No, they this just is, this is the last eclipse that we can see in our lifetime. Is that correct? No, it's the last eclipse that passes over that specific path. Are you Google it right now? I thought this was the last total eclipse no. that we can see in our lifetime no. in the U.S. The contiguous U.S. twenty forty four. They are not as infrequent as people think. The Earth is seventy. 70% water, most of them pass over the water and we never see them because we don't live on a boat. They're not that infrequent. I've seen, this will be my fourth. We're not going to be in totality, but this will be the fourth one that I've ever seen. And I'm only 36 years old. I've had, only? I've just, I've, I've happened to be in another country when one passed over it. So yeah, most Americans, other than the people that were there as well, have never seen that one. I could swear that I heard that this one was the last one that you so and the, I could possibly the moon, see. The moon is moving away at about an inch a year. Think about an inch in comparison to the size of the sun and moon. And God, I wish you had grown an inch or three. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. In comparison, it would be like growing an atom is what I'm getting at. Would a singular atom make a difference? I don't know. As long as it makes it bigger. So that it's, it's moving away from us. You know, like when you were a kid and you filled a bucket full of water and you spun it around because yeah. the water wouldn't spin out. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing to the moon. That's what the earth right. is doing to the moon. It's slowly flying away from us. Eventually it'll reach a spot where it's neutral between the sun and the earth and future. So you don't think it's going to keep going? No, it's impossible for anything to escape the the sun's gravity. Eventually, it'll re it'll reach a point where it has an orbit like we do, and somebody lost in time will think that it's just another planet. Mm. I mean, do you know how many moons Jupiter has? Like twenty seven or something. yes, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And they're all bigger than Earth. So imagine if they develop their own orbit, which is Gonna be... So hypothetically, could the moon develop its own moons? Yeah, there uh, a, a moon of Jupiter has two moons. One uh, I don't remember which one. Interde we never even knew that until recently. I never they're, knew that. They're <laughs> until like, right now. They're basically conjoined twins. They haven't like they're separate. Oh, your favorite. Yeah, oh, I think you secretly want to fuck a conjoined twin. No. 
Yes, I think you do. No, you're I think you do. This. No. I think you do. No. You're the one who brought it up. Because that's You were like two brains, one vagina. Wow, this is amazing. I need to do this. I bring up th things that are trending because I know that you we can want capitalize to on it. Do it. So our videos You want to do it. No, our videos eventually are gonna pop up on Google search for some of these terms because the transcripts and two brains, one vagina. What is that? You just she made the analogy and has no idea what we're talking about. Don't tell her. Wait. Don't put, tell her. No. What is it? No. Please show me. No, no, I'm not showing you. What is no. That? No. Not on my computer. Whoa. Well, now I'm scared. What you is should, it? You should be. Two you, girls what? Two girls, one cup. What is it? Oh, my God. You're cracking your neck. You're that not, means it's serious. You're never going to eat chocolate ice cream again if I tell you this. Poop, chocolate ice cream, and... No, just poop. And right, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to like two girls pooping into one cup and eating it. Why? Why are we talking about it? Because somebody did it. Why? For the audio audience. That is disgusting. Who would do that? It's the internet. What year? Like 15 years ago. You guys should see her face. See, when we talk about the things that the kids could potentially find or do or see on the internet, like. I'm telling you from a very protective point of view. I'm like, no, I know what's on the internet. You have watched this? No, no, no. Sure. I haven't. Well, you sound like you have. You didn't even know it existed. I didn't. But you just brought it up in me saying something apparently similar. And you were like, oh, it sounds like blah, blah, blah. Because that's all on that. I thought you were referencing it. No. Two heads, one vagina. It does sound like two girls, one cup. Well, I was talking about the conjoined twins. Oh, no. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> You're welcome for telling you about this. Uh, um, so in addition to that, people also want to tie... So we've got the Eclipse, we've got the Large Hadron Collider, Collider, we've got the Earthquake and Tsunami in Taiwan, we've got, there was another thing that goes in there. Essentially, essentially, if anything is potentially conveniently coincidental. End of the world. Yeah. Oh, Easter was last week. It's the second coming. That's, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Okay. Easter was last week, and that is why there's no school tomorrow. Yeah. Because it's part of spring break. And they think that all of this... There, I, I swear there's probably another tab that I have open that I need to pull up here real quick. So we've got... Oh, we got Powerball, too. We can talk about that in a minute. For what? It's like $1.4 billion right now. Dwayne the Rock, Taiwan, the earthquake. Oh, yeah. Bird flu is making a comeback. That's fun. Oh, yeah. The um, eagle at the aquarium is in confinement because he has the bird flu. I mean, sure. Whatever. I'm so over. All the flus? Yeah. Like, so SARS was already a thing before COVID. I already knew what SARS was. And then I remember having arguments with people like, no, COVID's a whole new thing. It's never. It's literally called SARS. O V two. It's fucking SARS. It's the cold. This has already existed. You had this argument in what year? 2019, 2020. Yeah. But because of marketing, it has a different name. It's unfamiliar. It's scary. SARS. Have you ever heard of SARS before I said that right now? Yes. Okay. So two thousand five. It's like I think. SARS. It's SARS coronavirus. That's what co V is. Mm -hmm. Two. And it happened to be in 2019. That's where the COVID-19 comes from. Remember how they taught us to break down words in elementary school to their roots and their meanings and everything like that? Could you imagine if people actually use that today? Because it, it's there in plain sight. They say it. They spell it out. And they know that people are not. So you, you see the people, and usually these are conspiracy theorists, so that's why nobody cares. And they're like, do the research. Do the research. I know the thing because I did the research. Do the research. Okay. So do you consider yourself 
a conspiracy theorist? No, because I don't go around prancing around with stuff. I didn't say you were prancing. I know. But... So I am in the middle. So there's the propagandists on this side who want to shut everything down. There's the conspiracy theorists on this side who think there's some new world order. And then there's me who is just following the logical line. Like, I'm like, oh, this is just, this is just another version of the cold. Okay. But wouldn't you think that conspiracy theorists also believe that they are following the logical line? They, they think so, that. They think that because. Here, I think, they think it be- that you are a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Not. And you are equally following the line the way that they believe that they are following the line. No, because they're they are following the truth, just like you believe that you are following the truth. No, and I'm just they, along for the they, ride. No, they think that Bill Gates and Rockefeller and all these other rich people, they think that they are going out of their way to try and depopulate the world and that they are paying to manufacture. That's serious. That's what these people believe. They're like, oh, Bill Gates contributed to this. A yeah. lot of people believe a lot of different things. So you can align with a lot of different schools of thought. I'm not aligning with anything. I'm literally following to the T. Like, oh, it's SARS coronavirus too. Cool, it's the cold. End of story. And then you have the conspiracy theorists who... Then why don't... did you call me a terrorist for not getting the vaccine? Because I wanted it to be fucking over. I wanted the fucking lockdown to be over. Okay. And so I let's... also didn't want to sure. have anything pumped into my body that yeah. was not. But that's also, so the conspiracy theorists also thought that they were being microchipped when from the vaccine. Which I never said that, I, but you not, still called me a terrorist. No, I'm not saying that you said that. We're talking about the conspiracy theorists. The conspiracy theorists, whether or not any of the vaccines were effective or not, different conversation. The conspiracy theorists want you to believe that the vaccine was a tracking microchip. They want you to also believe that it was going to make you sicker, that it was going to enroll you into all of these other things and it was going to cause additional cancer. Everything affects everybody in some way. You could drink that right now and there could be a byproduct in there that could contribute to you developing cancer. There's no way to outrule that. But if it happens and somebody out there already had this theory when it happens to you, they're going to latch onto your story. They're going to say, see, I told you. There's a term for this. And I can't think of what it is. It's essentially, if it can happen, it will happen. There's another term for that. Eventually, somebody is going to develop an allergy or have a cancer. Somebody's going to be talking too much. Somebody's going to be in the sun too frequently. Somebody is going to develop a new allergy because humans, for the most part, have not lived as long as we live right now. It's only in recent history, in the last 200 years, that we've surpassed 50-year life expectancy. Everything that happens after 50 years old is new. Alzheimer's wasn't a thing. It might have been a thing. We don't know. We have no way of going back and studying that. All the dementia, all the new cancers, all these things. Like We are in an era where we are outliving the norm, and nature is catching up to us. And so people people think that the government's doing it. No, you're living too long, dumbass. In 500 years, they're going to look back at us and be like, those idiots. And that's my point. Conspiracy theorists, the tinfoil hat people are insane. But they get a line item right on their whole sheet. And they try and say that because they got a line item right, That means everything is right. Everything that they've ever said is validated because they got one thing right one time ever. And there's no way you can disprove them because sure, eventually item number two is going to be checked off. And now they're, now they're, they've dug in. You cannot win that argument with those people. They're so logically far gone. There's no amount of reality. There's nothing that you can present to them 
There's no facts. There's no information. There's nothing. You just have to make fun of them. And then they think that you're part of it. You're part of the simulation. You're uh, Agent Smith. You're trying to uh, gaslight. No, you're just dumb. You're just dumb. You cannot comprehend how one thing is a complete coincidence. And so you have to attribute it to your perceived fact. They do this all the time. Like, I'm sure there is and there are attempts by rich people and governments and things like that to try and control populations. Why wouldn't they? Of course they want to control the population. They don't want us rising up and taking over and starting a new government. But we also don't really want to. What would happen if we overthrew the government? We're going to be invaded. Because now we don't have anything or anybody to run the military to protect us from foreign invaders. So it's, it's a balancing act, realistically. We are the checks and balances on each other. The government is just better at fucking us over than we are them. Somebody has said that the government is the biggest gang. Realistically, they are. Taxes, extortion. Like, what are you going to do about it? If I take all your money, who are you going to hire to sue me? They have a monopoly on crime. Not a term that I made up. I don't know where I heard it, but the government has a monopoly on crime. And that's not a conspiracy theory. It's a, a reality. And we have to navigate as best as possible the dynamic and changing environment in our country. A really, really good example of some of this are we have like uh, activists and you put that in extreme bunny ears because they think that they contribute more than they really do. But they go to a uh, recent history example, Palestine. You have LGBTQ people going to Palestine and saying that they're there in support of Palestine, right? The Palestinians and their religion hates you. They want to kill. They literally want to chop your head off. Murder you. Yeah. yeah. And then they go there. And they're like, fuck the USA. And then the Palestinians are like, why is your hair pink? Are you gay? I'm going to chop your head off. And then when it happens, like, why would, why would they do this to me? Because, idiot, you're not in America. You have that freedom here. You do not have that freedom there. They are dug in on their religion. We are very, very fortunate that the religions that are here in the U.S. do not have more power than they already do. Because we could still be living, you could still be wearing a bonnet, and you could still be modest and have to cover everything up, and you could still be just a slave to your husband in the kitchen. I bet you would love that. No. Yes, you would. No. You would love me as a slave no. to you. No. Oh, Andrew. No. I beg of you, master. No. Please. No, that's boring and annoying. I've I've dumped so many women because they were yes women, yes man, like just always saying yes to me and wanting to like, stop it, stop, stop, stop doing that. So because I say no, you're interested? Sometimes it's annoying, but it's, it's better. It is so much better to not. How can I win at that point? You it's, don't want me to say yes or no. It's not about winning. So maybe it's not, a maybe no, woman. No, no, it's not about winning. It's that I actually know when you actually do or don't want to do something. If you say no, then I want to try and convince you. If you say yes, it's likely that you're trying, you actually want to say yes. So that balance where you know, you have the opportunity and I can't like chop your hand off like the Taliban can. I, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to somebody that's just literally rolling out the red, red carpet in front of me. No, it's much more fun and much. You don't want me to 
roll the red carpet out for you. I just come up behind you when you get out of the shower. I mean, that's what I do. You though? Sometimes. Your tiny pee pee. Yeah, tiny pee pee. I walk in. I don't even feel it, so that's why I can go in. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you, you, oh, you chug so too tiny. fast. You chug too fast. That's boring. I'll try. That's how fast you were when that's you true. came the that's other true. day. That's true. You little bloop and just ah. Oh, that was it. Hey, we're done, and it's over already. Hey, the end. Just like this episode. Is that the thing? Like cheer all the way. Final around? final four prediction before we go. We're at an hour. Oh, I I don't Purdue, even I don't Purdue even know who's UConn. in it. Purdue and UConn, University of Connecticut, and Purdue, West Lafayette, Indiana. Who you got? So final four is down to two people. Is that what I'm picking up? Yeah. Then I'll go Purdue. Where's the women's? I see this. We just were there. We were watching. Well, you're extremely misogynistic, and you say women's don't count. So nobody watches it. You say women's don't count. No, it's because women ask for equal pay, but the pay comes from the sponsors. Just like we don't deserve Joe Rogan's money just because we do the same thing he does. That's the problem. Okay. So South Carolina beat Iowa 87-75 in the women's bracket. I heard blah, 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 yeah. blah, 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 blah. Who are you on the Frozen Four? Who's in the Frozen Four? Um... Boston College and University of Boston, Michigan, and Minnesota, or one of the Dakotas. I know three of the four teams for sure. I'll make you really happy and say Michigan. That'll make you come in your pants right now as I'm saying it. <laughs> Michigan. Yep, oh, yep, yep. Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Do you even know the fight song? No, I don't. Hail to the I victors. just extremely. Like victors, valiant. Hail to the victor. I was just picturing you coming in your pants. Jizz in my pants. Remember that video? That's the guy from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He's one of them, yeah. Lonely Island. Yeah, that guy. Andy Sandberg. Uh, how much do you think it, like, not money, but how, okay, how high and or how intelligent do you think they were to come up with all those skits and videos? Do you, do you think? Um, I think that they had a 12-year-old boy mindset. <laughs> And they were like, this is what boys love. So this is what we are going to talk about, a.k.a. rap about, a.k.a. sing about. So this is what we are going to do. And it happens to make money because other people have 12-year-old boy mindset, like Andrew Lee Max. I had never heard about it until and, you. And why do you watch Real Housewives? Because women want to hear other women bickering about their rich people problems. It's just pandering, catering to your audience. I can see that. Yeah, it's all the same thing. I wish I was a housewife. No. I would not tolerate you. You would not tolerate me. No. Why? Because they're fucking annoying. And I'm not. I, I'm no, not. I, I didn't mean I wish that I acted like them. I wish that I was oh. stay-at-home mom. No, you don't. You get bored. I, you wanna, I do, though. You, know, you get bored and everything is miserable because you don't have anything to do. I gotta go to the store for the seventh time today because I don't want to be in the house. If you were managing a, like a big business and you were just like a decision maker or figurehead, sure. Like, you don't actually have to do anything. You're just... Everybody's always calling you and annoying you. And you're like, fine. Yeah, send the check to them. Fine. We need the bathroom remodel. Okay. Let me pick out the, the stuff. The paint color is ugly. It gives you something to do. If you were, if you had, let's say you owned, um, I don't know, some major boutique. And you weren't, like you didn't work at the register, but you're the decision maker for it. Much better. You don't actually want to be at home sitting on the couch. You know how I know that? Because when you're at home sitting on the couch, you complain about being at home sitting on the couch. So you need the middle route. You need enough money to be able to do everything that you want, but you don't actually want to be at home bored. You don't want to just stand in the kitchen 
and come up with tasks and figure out things to alleviate your boredom. It only sounds good in theory. Those are also the people that typically cheat the most. People that are busy, working, have obligations, don't have time to cheat. So you're saying that I need a job so that I don't cheat. No. So you're taking something out of context yet. All of it. I said that I would love to be a stay-at-home mom to alleviate the stress. And then you would be stressed about other things. You'd be mad that the water spot wasn't painted. I would be able to actually volunteer at my children's school that I have been promising my children's school for the last three years now. We're doing next week. What do you got going on? I'll take care of it. I can't. It's a whole process. How much time do you have to, to dedicate? You have to actually get volunteer certified and get a background check what first. That? What does that mean? And it only happens two times a year. So I've already missed the time period for this year. But what does it entail? I can't again until the fall. What does it entail? Is it like a test and you pay something? Like what do you have to do? It's just a background check, background check through the state. Which you can already pass. That's how you got your insurance right, but license. Like, but... I can't do it again until the fall. Okay. So let's say you have this certification. Are you there eight hours once a week? Are you there two hours, five days a week? Like what, what does that even look like? I don't know. It all depends on the school's need for that semester. What does it cost? Do you have to pay into this? Yes. What does it cost? I think it's like $35 for the background check or something like that. No, no, no. I'm saying like, because you're saying volunteers. Yeah. So that implies that the school's not paying you. Right. Do you have to pay into it? No, no, no. You just have to pay for the background check. That's it. And then you're giving your time to the school. Do you thing. get to say yes and no to certain things, or are you at their whim? A little of both. They can call on you, like, if a teacher calls out because they're sick or whatever, and, and hey, we... Or you're just going to put on movies for people. <laughs> it, well, not not the lead substitute, but, the, like, the TA or whatever, if if need be, if two people are needed in that situation. But a lot of times it's covering lunches so that the teacher can step out and go do what they need to do while or during field trips or during certain periods you guys just use the class yeah like cash specifically has called me out three times this year for being what if his class never needs a volunteer the only mom who has not volunteer so you're the only mom that's a contributor to society that's what i hear well i feel like fucking shit about it you have more important fish to fry it makes me feel like shit and i promised him that i would do it he'll understand one day that you have bigger fish to fry he will understand he will look back on it when you're able to explain it to him and He can understand. That I need to keep the lights on and a roof over his head? Not just that, but the other things that are going on. He'll understand. He'll understand. He's going to be one of those kids. He's going to be interviewed for something. He's going to do something amazing. And he's going to be like, I dedicate this to my mom because she did all of this stuff. She struggled. She, you know, made sure that we always ate. She never ate food, which... I have to force her to eat a lot of times. And we're not even in like that dire of a situation. It's just that you go out of your way to make sure that not only are they taken care of, but that they also don't get picked on or made fun of. They recognize that. They see that. They know the stuff. They don't know how to say it right now, but they're... They're going to be, they're going to do something and they're going to dedicate something to you and you're going to have a big breakdown. I'm nothing. Mom's they're, the real MVP. They're going to say, mom, no, you feel that way because you don't think it's enough. That's not how they feel. That's a fact. Come back to this episode in 10 years. Cooper will be almost 24 in 10 years. Yeah. 
Chloe will be 22. She will, Cooper will... will Charlotte just, will be almost 20. Cooper will be and done. And Cash will be 18. Cooper will be done with his graduate program, at least master's level by that time. And he's going to look back at it, and he's going to be like, Andrew was such an asshole, but it makes sense now. Mom didn't want to... Go out, like, Mom didn't want to do anything to upset me. Because she was worried. Andrew made sure to enforce the rules. I love my mom. I know what she did. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. So on that note, thank you for listening to this long-running podcast that I'll I'll try and edit the dead air out of again. I'm going to try and get this one up for tomorrow, for Monday, for March or March, April, April 8th. How long have we been doing this for? Almost a month already. That's crazy. Don't you think? Very crazy. I never thought I would be in a podcast. And we're already almost a month into this. Almost 20 episodes recorded. There's 13 live. This also depends on how we break it down. So it could be 17, but it could also be 20. Are you talking about the Tansy episode? No, all of it. Like the the Red Dress episode might not air because I don't know if I can fix the audio. Then we have this episode, the two others that we recorded before. That's 17. Tansy could be one to five episodes realistically. I was thinking one to three. It depends on how the stories land. Mm -hmm. If there's a really good cliffhanger 30 minutes in, I might cut it up to make sure that they have to come back for the next part. Gotcha. So, yeah, it could be anywhere between. I think we had another trash episode that we couldn't use that I did actually fully delete. We have a. Okay, put it this way. For the Tansy episode specifically, the audio deck cut up the audio files into eight segments, and it was 25 gigabytes of audio. That's not even the video. But they, they were running video at 1080p. We run video at... And just a little teaser, talking about orgies yep. here in North Carolina. Yep. That we were not an active participant in, but he certainly walked in on. Not only did he walk in on. Had to skirt an NDA for. <laughs> and had the hostess try and provoke him. They they purchased, he owns a distillery in Raleigh, North Carolina. And they had purchased a significant amount of his um like rum. $800 worth of his room. Yeah. So he felt obligated to show his face. Mm -hmm. He shows his face happens to be an orgy. And he said it smelled like a burnt rubber from all the condoms that were being abused and all the uh unborn children that were dying in that moment. Is there a smell of that? Are you familiar with that smell? I mean, burnt rubber, I can only imagine. He said it was like a hundred humans going at it. And it wasn't only once. I can only imagine. Bye. Bye. <laughs>